Hello guys, Tristan here, back with another video, and today we're doing another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile. Once again, we're looking at DD's, my favorite deck of all time. Uh, this is a Kaluga lock variant, so you'll be able to summon Kaluga on your opponent's turn if you set it up correctly. Uh, right in the draw phase, which kills most decks in this format, and it's pretty fun to pull off. It's not exactly the most competitively viable strategy, but it's a lot of fun to do, and I find it really, really lovable. So, we're just gonna get into the deck profile, and then I'll show you the duels and the combo afterwards. So first, you got three copies of DD Savant Kepler. Uh, of course, you got that, and you got the Copernicus. The main starters of the deck, you have to play three of them. They're really good. They don't do a whole lot outside of their main effects, but they're still good. Of course, the uh, best card in the deck, it's an extender that does four things. Three Griffin, you need three of him for sure. And also, three Swirl Slime. Now, I originally had him at two, but I moved him up to three because I cut out the Swamp King. And Swamp King, it's not exactly bad. It's just I found that having Swirl Slime uh, made it easier. You can easily pop or banish uh, uh, Swamp King with with the Feather Duster or what ha or Cyclone, what have you. But with Swirl Slime, you you need to stop it with a Monster Negate. And of course, for the one of we got Orthros, Cerberus, Thomas, Vice King Requiem, Ragnarok, and uh, King Rage. And then the last two are Vice Typhon and Necro Slime. I've cut Lamia uh, because Lamia you only really need if you only have, if you only open up with a uh, contract with the gate because you need to normal summon. Uh, the Copernicus off your gate and then the Lamia and basically it's the only one card combo uh, that you would need Lamia for. Otherwise Lamia is not a very useful card I don't think. Um, so that's why I cut Lamia out for now. For the hand traps we got one D shifter, one Veiler, one Nib, one Bell and one Ash. Uh, these are mainly for the cross out plays because we do want to get our plays, our, our combo to go through. We don't want to be interrupted especially by Nib and uh, Shifter. If we get Nibbed or Shifter it's pretty much done. Uh, there's nothing this deck can really do after that. And of course we got the spells, three gate, this card's really really good. Uh, it does one thing and it's really good at it and I just love it, it's a great extension. Uh, we got patent license and we also got the triple nightmare throne uh, to round off our field spells. Uh, patent license is a good card, it's basically just a copyright claim if your opponent summons something that you have. A uh, really good card, um, but nightmare throne is also a good card, I managed to get it uh, before it, uh, the price went up. Uh, Definitely makes the deck more consistent and it's better than Puree or Small World for sure. And then of course we got two Triple Tactics Talents and three Cross Out and one Called By. I got the nice CR Called By. It looks beautiful. Um, but uh, just to help uh, continue our plays and of course the Imperm and the uh, Full Armored Xyz. So let's take a look at the extra deck. So I'm running two High King Genghis. Uh, running two over one is pretty good because you know you can summon more than one and you can get your uh, you get more consistently. And then the one sinker we play, Siegfried, it's a good card, good spell trap negate, one of the best in the deck. And then of course we got our Kaliuga and our two Machinex. I was Kaliuga is so much fun when you're the one playing it. We got our high King Caesar and we got our full armor disease uh, in order to get our spell our trap. And then we got our Mark Speaking Tell and our Wave King Caesar. Now for the links, this is a little complicated. I play one cross sheep to help with the Kaliuga combo and I play two Gilgamesh. Now I might need to find a way to play Gilgamesh at three. I found that play testing it, playing three Gilgamesh is the best, it's the most consistent, but it's possible to play with only two. Um, so if you're able to play with three Gilgamesh, if you're able to find a way to do it with all the other things intact, uh, definitely do it. For the side deck we got two Droll, for our uh, going second and also for our cross out plays. Uh, for also going second, we got our extra Ash and our extra Veiler. We got two Lightning Storm and two Cosmic Cyclone. The reason I don't play Feather Duster is because Caliuga pretty much is Feather Duster. Honestly, it's just really good. Whoops. Uh, and then, of course, we got uh, the Headhunt for going first, the Eternal Darkness for going first, good card, uh, the two Imperm for going first, and uh, rounded off three evenly good card. Anyway, that's the profile. I'll show you guys the combo now. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you how to do the Kaliuga lock combo. So you're going to need a combination of a couple cards, but basically you either need Nightmare Throne uh, and Copernicus or Nightmare Throne and Kepler or just Copernicus and Kepler 
uh, on their own. But basically, it's pretty simple, just a two card combo. You'll summon your Copernicus, uh, use its effect. You're going to send a Swirl Slime to the grave, then you're going to activate Swirl Slime's effect to uh, Special Summon Kepler, and then Kepler's effect. You'll get your gate, activate gate, gate the search Griffin, and then special summon Griffin just as usual. Uh, from here, you're, instead of going into your link place, you're going to overlay it and exceed summon your Wave King Caesar a little earlier than you would normally do. Uh, and from here, you're going to go into your Marksman King Tell. Uh, if for some reason you manage to get Vice Typhon in the grave before this, before this point, like with the uh, Swirl Slime uh, Fusion, for example, uh, at this point, you don't need to go into King Tell. Uh, you, you can still do it if you want, but you could just go straight into your full arm, uh, Xyz Armor Fortress, and then search the trap, and then continue from there. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to use King Tell and Kepler. You're going to link away into your Kashi. Of course, your King Tell is then going to activate. It's going to send Vice Typhon to the graveyard. Uh, so you're going to use Vice Typhon and Copernicus, uh, banishing them to Fusion Summon. You're going to Fusion Summon, Hiking Genghis, right where Kashyyyk points. And then of course Kashyyyk is going to activate, and you're going to bring back your Griffin. Right there, for example, and then when Griffin's brought back, its effect will activate to search you Vice King Requiem. And then Hiking Genghis will bring you back your Caesar. From here, you're then going to rank the Caesar up into Xyz Armor Fortress. And then use the effect, attaching one to search for Full Armor Xyz Trap. Uh, and basically, that's it, pretty much. That's all you have to do. Uh, what you can do is activate your Vice King Requiem, pop the gate, and then special summon it, uh, either zone. If you happen to have other bodies on the field, like if you have a bigger combo going, uh, what you can do is actually link off and go into your Gilgamesh. But before you do that, you definitely want to summon Vice King Requiem first, because if you get Gilgamesh off, then you'll run out of, uh, you won't be able to set Vice King Requiem in the scale, and you won't be able to summon it. So you can summon Vice King Requiem in the scale, and if you have another one here, you can link off into Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh set the scales, and then maybe go into Machinex, so that you have scales, and then you just set your full armor to Xyz trap face down. Your opponent's draw phase will happen, and then all you have to do is activate the full armor to Xyz. If your opponent can't stop this, then it's basically a turn skip. Uh, summon Caliga on their draw phase, they can't do anything about it, uh, and it's basically a turn skip. You pretty much win. There's very little situations where your opponent could come back from something that, like that, not being able to activate cards in the field. And of course, Caliuga even gains another effect from Vice King Requiem, which is broken. And at any point in time, I can detach my material to set my gate face down so that on my next turn, no matter what, I'll make sure that I have enough attack to go for game. So that's basically the Caliuga combo. It's not that hard. I mean, it, remembering how to do it is pretty simple. Um, and again, the only two cards that really needed to be changed in the extra deck uh, were to be able to get the Xyz Armor Fortress and the Cross Sheep in there. So, of course, the, the, the DDD to extra deck is unfortunately very tight. It's very difficult to move things around and change them. But, uh, but this is a, a build that works. Of course, you can play the original build that I had on my previous deck profile. You can go check it out here and in the, and in the description. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys some examples of me trolling the fuck out of people uh, on Dueling Nexus. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this deck profile, please leave a like to let me know. Comment down below what you think of it. And uh, if you enjoy building this deck and you enjoy playing it, you know, I will definitely make more DD profiles in the uh, in the future. And other profiles, of course, for other decks I have. I currently have Goblins. being com I have completed Goblins. I might do a Goblin deck profile. Goblin Biker. And I also have a Flu deck profile that I might do at some point. Uh, but you just guys let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And... See you later.